Next question is from JJ Boogie 64. In what ways have you or do you sublim- subliminally mold your children? What does that mean, subliminally? <laughs> oh, I don't hypnotize them. No, I know uh, what it before means because I totally do this. Uh, you- yeah, so I mean, like I've been telling, I think I've shared it on the podcast already, like the whole basketball thing. Uh, right? Just it's always uh, on in the background. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so I think that's what it means by subliminally. I'm not like forcing my son to watch it; it's just playing in the background. That's you how know? you throw. That's how uh, you throw away the garbage. I yeah. did that with Star Wars <laughs> yes. and with music all the time. Like, uh, like I had mentioned this, I found those. Um, those like nursery kind of like chimes of ACDC Metallica. Yeah, the lullabies. And, yeah, the lullabies. Yeah. And like, so, and, and that sort of groomed them into then I started to buy them CDs of like all these like rock bands that are just like staples. You have to, you know, have this in your collection of like Led Zeppelins and like all these <laughs> bands. So yeah, I do that all the time. That's so funny. Have you, so there was this, this reminds me of a video, a few videos I've seen of something similar where there's like a little, little baby that won't eat. So the, the, the mom or dad is like trying to give their kid like mashed vegetables or something. The kid's like, no. Yeah. So then they take a stuffy or a doll and they like slap the doll a bunch of times and it, oh, they pretend to feed the doll. The doll says no. Then they beat the doll. Then they go <laughs> give the food to the kid and the kid eats the food. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. It's like an interrogation. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. bad. So, it's so, because they'll go to, they'll do it to the doll. And the doll goes, yeah. no, just like yeah. the kid did. And then they'll hit the doll. Uh, <laughs> oh my they God. set the doll on fire. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go <laughs> give the, and they give the food to the kid. The kid eats it all. I'll like, eat oh. the broccoli. Oh mom. my God. When I think of this wow. in, in terms of subliminal, I think of just my own actions. You know, when I, especially when I'm around my kids, I try to be aware of how I treat my wife in front of them. I try to be aware of, how I react, um, if I if I if I'm angry, if I'm happy, um, if I if we're driving and let's say we drive by uh, some like a homeless encampment, like I, I try to be aware of what I'm going to say, yeah, um, because I you know I want empathetic, loving you know I want my kids to grow up to be good people. So okay, what am I going to say as we drive by this to to show them that this is the you know that this is how you should be around these kinds of things. And so that's, that's what I try to think of. I, I know one time I, I lost my temper. This is when, when, when uh, my, my kids were young and this is that story when the kid threw the basketball at my car while I was driving by. Yeah. And uh, I got so mad and I pulled back, you know, I, I turned around the kid, the kid and his friends ran inside the house and I pulled their basketball hoop down and threw, you know, threw it or whatever. And then I remember as I was leaving, my son, you know, had a conversation with him. He was real young and he's like, why'd you do that? You know, that was worse. I remember thinking to myself, like, what a bad example I just gave my kids of how you should act yeah. in a situation like that. So I think that's the most important thing. There's, It's even more subtle. I do things like, uh, so right now, I mean, Katrina and I, we made a pact before we even had Max, like the things that we wanted to be careful of our own behaviors. Um, and the phone was a big thing for me oh, yeah. because mm-hmm. that's that's a newer thing, right? Like I didn't have that 20 years ago where I'd be on a cell phone all the time where I'm literally on a cell phone all the time. And it is. It's a, it's a real temptation for me to want to grab it um, for a lot of reasons. And it's very easy for me to justify it. I'm, I'm, you know, we're in the middle of building a business that we all love and are passionate about it and we enjoy. And like, so yeah, I, I always want to check emails and respond back to people and and to do those things because I do I in thir- I really enjoy it and it's also benefiting the company building right so it's really tough for me to shut that down but I, I have to make a point to do that because I do not uh, want my son to get used to seeing his father on staring at a screen because yeah. that becomes normal that's if that, such a tough one man it is mm-hmm. a tough one but Katrina because Katrina and I both have made a, a such a great pack about it that if the, either partner does it we we always like little subtle comment you know. Like, oh, daddy's on his phone after five right now. Oh, you know, yeah. like, and then, like, right away, like, if I get, I like, phone, I drop it like it's hot lava, you know, right away, because I'm like, that's something that's important to me. And I do the same thing to her, you know, she gets stuff where she's communicating maybe with family about some weekend thing we're about to do. And, but if we're engaging with him and he's sitting in front of us, that's like, for us, that's like a big no no. And, you know, I don't, I know we're not 100% perfect and we won't ever, but the fact that I think that we were, we're conscious of it and we were making an effort, I hope makes a difference for when that becomes something that he's interested in, that he doesn't connect like, oh, mommy and daddy are always on their That's phone. That's the challenge of, of now. You know, mm-hmm. when we were kids, it was processed foods, which now we're seeing the ramifications. The challenge of now is electronics. And uh, I see a clear difference in my kids when I, when I, when I monitor it. Versus when I don't, they're totally different people. So uh, yeah. I think that's a good thing. I've tried to, yeah, address this by starting to really model of being outside more and doing things and building things and being active and climbing and 
walking and hiking, all that kind of stuff. And like, you know, just making that opportunity uh, there and available so that they, you know, they're just in that environment more than I am in the house. And then there's nothing but electronics just because it's, it is so hard. It's so hard to address that when uh, everybody's like sitting down. You just get like drawn to it, and you mm-hmm. want to know. Well, well, somebody like I'm important. I got emails. I got things, and then the, well, like, well, we're important. We we got our friends that want to talk to us online, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, what am I doing? Yeah, so no, I, yesterday I took the kids and I got home and I said, hey, we're gonna go to the park, and I, I got a bunch of pushback. Oh, we don't want to go to the park. It's so different from when we were kids. Right? I know, right? Yeah. Be, be, and my yeah. daughter, I don't want to go. It's hot. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and so I, at first I feel like a jerk for forcing them. And, yeah. I, and I also feel resentful. Like, fine, I'm not going to do anything with you. So I, you know what? I'm going to do it. They're going to come with me whether they like it or not. So I took them. And it took a good, no joke, 15 to 30 minutes before them yeah. to even loosen it's like, up. It's like decompressing. And then we had fun. Yeah. Always. Same it takes with like my 15 kids. to 30. First they complain. They don't want to do it. But about 15 to 30 minutes later, we're throwing the Frisbee. You just got to go, playing man. The, Yeah. So. 